hello friends in this video I am going to explain about the using of template engine with node.js app so here I am going to integrate uh, pug or jarde both are same so basically when we when when we work with node.js then we all know that it, it it's a, it mainly works on server side and if we want to have some uh, HTML rendering on browser so we, we need to uh, add its template engine so we are having lots of template engine with, comes with node.js uh, so pug jarde ejs are the most popular template engine i have used so as you all know that node.js is a javascript runtime environment which works on server side express is its framework we can use also other frameworks as level but express is more popular because it's it provides lots of flexibility and jardes is its template engine so using all these things i have created a basic app here you can see so here I am used. I have used two uh, packages mainly Express, Zarde, and here I have uh, set the uh, view folder pu uh, pu public so that we uh, the files can be uh, available to the browser. And here I have set the default engine to Zarde, and here I have two, two different routes. One is home and one is about us. On home I have uh, like uh, passed title and date from the from the um, server side and that we are rendering on the page here you can see so this is the title this way we mainly like integrates any variable in the uh, in the jar day. and the most basic thing with this template is to maintain the ident indentation so if your indentation will not be proper will not be uh, in a in a uh, hierarchy uh, managed then it will throw an error so for more detail you can uh, go to the official website of jarde template so the official website is i guess this one so you can see come here you can see the the way it works and the way it renders the things on the browser so the most important thing with jarde template is the the indentation it uh, by which it, it understands the tag and it understands that the uh, the second tag is inside the first tag so that way it works mainly so if we run the it's uh, if we run the app uh, let me let me show you the rest part of the server server so here you can see on the get stuff we have uh, called the home dot uh, home dot zarte page which is available inside the view view views folder and uh, on about us we have called the about us dot zarte file and we have passed some get uh, some variable from the server uh, from the server.js file and this is a file which is which is uh, the common part of the uh, pages here we have header footer and the the css call so we don't need to call it on every pages so here this is a common layout the same we have called at the top so this way we can uh, we can include the include the uh, the common layouts in our page so this is the way and here we, in the, with the proper indentation we put the content and this is a variable integration with Zarde. the same with the about us stamp uh, about us dot Zarde template so let me run the code so you can see uh, on route page we are having home page uh, available to us here this is the variable passed from the server.js file and this is time passed from the server.js file the same way we, if you can see this data has been passed from the server.js file and the same here so this way we can render some uh, some basic websites uh, i prefer to uh, like use these templates for uh, or basic or an average kind of site but uh, not for the very huge applications because if we'll have uh, a huge application with this template then we need to have lots of things which will be very typical to use uh, with uh, this template so for bigger applications i prefer to go with as a other angular node.js and other front-end frameworks but for for basic kind of sites or just to want to render some basic templates then i prefer to go with uh, uh, templates in just level to node.js okay that's it for now uh, the link of this source code is available to the uh, the description of the video so thanks for watching this video